Hello everyone. In this video, we will show you how to add the and use the social network feature in your app. Log into your account and go to your business dashboard. Next, click on Manage App and you'll be redirected to the Overview page. Under the Edit Test and Go Live section, click on Edit. In your Edit App section, go to the menu on the top left and click on Add Future. In the in the slide out menu, click View All to see the list of features. Search for the social network feature and click on Add Future to add it to your app. You will now see the social network feature listed in my Future section. When you hover over the feature, you will see multiple options like the Hide Future, Edit and Customize Feature, and Delete Feature. For more options, click on the Key Up menu on the right and explore the options to move the feature up, down, top, bottom, or to another folder. Let's click on the Edit and Customize Feature option to see how we can edit the feature further. Here in the Edit Feature section, you will see all the options you can explore and start using the feature in your app. You can change the page name here. Click on the Change Icon section and this window will open up. Click on Select Icon where you will see multiple options for icons. You can further choose to see any solid and outline options. In the Select Image section, you will see lots of options for images that can be used as icons for your social network future. You can also upload a custom icon for Apple, Android, and website to make your app icon stand out. In the Content section, click on the Manage button to reach the, the View Users section. Once app users start using your app, you'll be able to see all the app users listed here. From this page, you can block or unblock some users. Click on the Reports section and you will see more options appear on the left side bar menu. Reported Posts, Reported Comments, and Reported Users. Click on Reported Posts to see the list of posts that have been reported. In the Reported Comments section, you will see the comments that have been reported. And similarly, in the Reported Users section, you will see the list of users who have been reported. Click on the General Settings section and the menu will expand to Configuration and language settings. In the configuration settings section, you can choose to share a post and show a message button on the profile screen using the toggle button next to these options. You can also choose to reset the page if you want to delete all your posts, reviews, pictures, videos, and all other content on, on your page. However, resetting the page is in reversible process and you will not be able to recover all this data. Now go to the language settings section and check whether you want to add or edit any field. Remember to click save after make, making the changes you want. The order history will show you all the orders placed through your app. Now that we are done with the content section, let's move to the design section. In the page style and color scheme section, you can click here to see multiple background image options provided by our platform or choose a solid color or upload a custom image to be used as the app background. You can choose to use the same image for both portrait and landscape mode or use different ones for both. Scroll down and you will see the page elements, colors, font size, and indent settings. You can also choose to hide the border, allow people to post videos, display full images, and allow people to post privately using the toggle button. You can choose to enable the back navigation button under header and fit the content to the screen size using the toggle buttons next to the options. Next, go to the in-app settings. Here you can enable or disable in-app for your app with a simple toggle action. Here you can add the Android and iOS payment credentials. You can also find relevant tutorials for the process by clicking here. Scroll down and add your Android payment receipt credentials. You can cho choose to use these credentials as global credentials. All the edits and changes will be saved automatically. You can also save them manually. As soon as you click publish, you will be able to see all the changes immediately.